And if you also remember early on, we installed this nice, nice carbon fiber steering wheel. Okay. All right, now that we got everything removed, things should just come out very nicely. All right, guys, we got the old shifter nice and cleaned up. Now, if you guys are wondering how a short shifter kit works, it's basically not super short, but shorter than before. So, all right, guys, today is the day we modify Nevada's car. So if you guys don't know, this is Nevada's car. I'm going to put his Instagram on the screen. You guys can see a bunch of, bunch of nice fire shots of his car. So this is going to be a... I don't know, it could be short, could be long, series of just modifying the hell out of this Evo. Those of you know, or don't know, this Evo is tuned, but it's more or less stock, cold air intake, upgraded pipes, not really much, not really much. But it is tuned, it's probably making like 330 wheel, stock turbo, it's not very really much, just nice, fun, daily car. So, this series, modifying Nevada's car series we're going to be just making it the best daily driver we can so today's first mod as you can see title of the video we have this works short shifter now let me show you the shifter and situation he has right now love the fast key definitely if you have an Evo you need the fast key so this is the shifter he has now. OEM shifter with a racing, I believe it's a racing shift knob. Pretty, pretty heavy stuff. But you can see right now, that is a crazy throw. Like I just, if somebody was sitting back there, I just elbowed them. That is a crazy throw. So we're going to try and shorten that today. And if you also remember early on, we installed this nice, nice carbon fiber steering wheel that he got for a steal from my other boy. So, this car definitely has something. So, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to have to start by removing a bunch of these interior pieces, unplug a bunch of this stuff. Honestly, removing the center console area isn't that hard. So, I'm just going to start tearing this apart. And the console pieces shouldn't, shouldn't be too hard. If I remember from my Lancer days, these just popped up. And then just unplug this AYC little button right here. Super simple. That's step one out of the way. Now we're going to go towards popping this up area. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Now we just unplug his cigarette lighter. I remember the last time I upgraded this to like a USB. I think I have an extra one. It might be very happy if I did it. After that, I'm just gonna remove this racing shift knob. Yeah, so I'm gonna need to get an Allen key and remove that. Remove this little nut right here, and then we can unscrew the threads for the racing shifter. Okay, so we'll get off this big center console area. Trusty work screwdriver. Super, super handy. And these are 10 millimeters. All right, and now we're going to just un. Release the wiring. This is the yep, AYC button. And she should be out. 
All right, so, so before you remove the center console, if you have the fast key, you're going to need to remove this. I wouldn't recommend unplugging it because then that would lead to a whole bunch of headaches. These are just plastic. You can just pop this off and just leave it right there. All right, now that we got everything removed, this thing should just come out very nice and easy, just like this. So this is cool. I like how the whole like it shows the whole inner workings of the ship there. I like I like seeing that kind of stuff. So to do this project, we're going to leave it in neutral. Just give it a little shake, make sure it's in neutral. And we're going to start by taking off these little spacer rings. A lot of people cut them off. They do provide two new ones in the kit. So if you do want to cut them off, you can. Or if you can flat head in the middle should work but try and refrain from damaging this thing so if you guys do cut it make sure you guys don't get shirts everywhere we'll see in a moment if I resort to cutting it So if you guys are one of the lucky ones, well, good on you. I have to cut these off. Next thing on the agenda, we have to knock out these two pins. So we're gonna take a hammer and probably like a, a bolt or a flathead, just enough to push it out. rags here next thing on the agenda is to just unclip the little ball this is honestly not hard all you gotta do is just move the little clip over to the side just unhook it yep so you just you spread them and push them forward that way and boom now we have everything released now all we gotta do is just you know just make sure you guys remember the way everything comes out but this is honestly not too hard not harder than the shifter i have in the porsche this is actually pretty simple but boom and here she is nice and out all right guys got the old shifter nice and cleaned up now if you guys are wondering how a short shifter kit works it's basically not the whole longer throw thing it's basically everything in the inner workings below this lever so the longer this arm is the less you have to move the top here and if you compare this to the other one you can see this one is shorter that's why when we throw it all the way forward we have to move this short lever more so this in turn moves up more so because this is longer we don't have to move the top part as much because the bottom part is longer and it will have like a longer throw. So guys, if that makes sense to you guys, but you guys will see after we install it. All right, so we're gonna go and clean up all this old nasty grease in here and we're gonna apply some new grease. So I was told we're supposed to apply the new grease very, very, very liberally guys understand what I mean by liberal but this is white lithium grease and we're going to use a bunch of this stuff because the more grease you have actually the smoother your shifts will be the smoother all these mechanisms and stuff would go so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a bunch of this stuff all right so this is the work shifter I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a bunch of lube to this bottom ball first this area all up in this area, basically. I'm gonna smooth it out with our hands after, but yeah. You guys get the point. This is a lot, but it's perfectly enough. So let's go ahead and put it down into the ball. Down there. 
that's step one. And we're just gonna repeat the process, guys. Actually, before I put some in there, I'm going to pour a bunch into this ball. So it sits nicely. Now here, I'm going to apply all the way around the ring. Very, very, very liberally. So now we're going to install back the clip to hold the bottom ball back in. The side rig. Again, applying a lot of white with you. All right, so all you gotta do is just spread it out like this and swing it over the ball joint like this. Insert the ball back in there like that. Alright, now we can then put this piece back on. Just gonna clean it up and apply cleaner lubricant. It's not going to be easy, guys. You're gonna have to fight it and tap it in. Same thing for the bottom, smaller one. All right, that's in. They supply us with two new pins. That's why I just cut off the old ones. I don't have time for that. What you want to do is just hold it in place and take for the small one, you could take like a nice eight millimeter socket and tap it into place. That's going to hold that. So now we get a 14 millimeter socket and tap this one in as well. All right, so when you're all done, it should look like this. Just listen to that. That is that is so short now. Holy crap. Holy crap. That is so short now. Alright, I'm over here having fun and the job's not done. Let's go ahead and install the rest of the reverse the process on the center console and should be finished. because it's longer doesn't have it so the shift boot sag so much so basically you install this and you have a little set screw in here you can put it at whatever height you want I'm just gonna put it at the bottom for now we're gonna set the set screw and for now you can adjust that later it's more of a personal preference kind of thing I'm just gonna go ahead plug back in the cigarette lighter Go ahead, plug back in our AYC control and slip this right over the e-brake like so. Don't forget to clip this little clip that you guys unclipped from the center console. Push that back in and boom. I love that about Mitsubishi, how easy it is to take apart your interior. Super, super easy. Boom. Here we are. That moment of truth. Sheesh, son. This is, this is shorter than before. It's not like mind-blowing craziness. I'm not gonna hold you, but... I am hyped. It's not, even, it's not my car, but I'm pretty hyped. It's a lot better than before. Before I would elbow somebody in the back seat. Now it's not too shabby. So the shifter definitely sags a bit. 
I guess it's because this shift knob is super heavy. It just sags. It just leans towards you. This is not too bad. It actually doesn't even look like it's in neutral because it's set. It's leaning back at you. That's just like the angle that they have the shifter. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool. I, I like that. That's pretty cool. Not super short, but shorter than before. All right, guys. Another simple install finished. You can see the position of the, of the shifter now. It's more like facing towards me now. Makes it easy. From the side, it doesn't even look like it's in neutral, but that's neutral. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's about it for this. It's probably like, I don't know. We did this, that. We've just been upgrading this man's car crazy. Ugh. That's about it for this episode, guys. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Anybody could do this, honestly. I just did it, so. Don't forget to also stay tuned and watch this 944 4G63 swap Evo build where we have our own shifter stuff to work about. So, that's about it for this video, guys. Don't forget to head on over to unsystematic.co for all your unsystematic needs situated. To comment, rate, and subscribe. And for my viewers it's a little sneak peek there don't forget now it's time i find